Oh, hi there. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins and their chance at doing a three-peat, which means winning the Stanley Cup three times in a row. I'm going to say this. Sidney Crosby has had many things handed to him on a silver platter. He had the silver spoon in his mouth before he was even born. When he first started hockey, he was gently guided to the position that he was in. I'm not saying he didn't have to try, I'm not saying there weren't uh, harder times for him, but there were doors open for Sidney Crosby that there were not for other players. And I'm saying, I'm calling it right now, that the Pittsburgh Penguins are not going to do a, a three-peat. They're not going to win the Stanley Cup next year. And at this point, it doesn't matter to me who takes them down. Um, I mean, my iPhone clock is telling me something. It's uh, telling me insider information about um, hockey statistics, this, that, and the other. You have to kind of take it all with a pinch of salt because they're obviously not going to tell a character like me directly what they want. They kind of speak in a manipulative manner when you're talking to people on the internet. That's an unfortunate business, so... But, uh, from the gist of the information I'm getting, um, things um, are going to be different. Um, I really think Connor McDavid, uh, he is a strong character. Uh, he has a lot to learn from leadership. Oh, I just got a memo from my dear friend. Um, eh, he didn't say anything important anyway. Not even worth mentioning his name. An unmentionable. Anyway, um, you know, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, yes, they've been uh, very successful of recent years. They've had a lot of crummy years too, but of late they've been particularly good in the sense of getting what they want. Uh, and at the end game, that's what all hockey teams uh, aspire to do. Um, what message I have for uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, if it ever gets to them, uh, maybe six thousand months down the road they see this video, maybe they never see it, maybe nobody important ever sees this video or anybody of any um, real character and not just some fraud, a phony. Um, you know, uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of people, they don't, um, they don't think I'm capable of um, actually making stuff happen pushing things around, maybe even shake up some money, uh, you know, in the upper echelon of uh, higher business. Uh, totally possible. It's not hard at all. These people are gambling people. The NHL is a gambling organization. What they do is uh, they get suckers to invest their money, they get people to buy their products, they get people to pay their overpriced games, it's cheaper in certain areas, but around here in Vancouver, it is not cheap. Um, they get an army of thugs who are unpaid, who pretty much they brainwash into uh, doing what they want them to do. And um, that's to be, you know, uh, you know knuckle-dragging, caveman, uh, easy to pick a fight with, even especially when they've had a few drinks uh, and they're filled with them at hockey games. Uh, my dad made the conscious effort of rarely taking us to hockey games and he gently discouraged it but promoted the idea that hockey was good. It's kind of weird, like it is just you, you grow up in that atmosphere that um, it, it's like my dad was in the record industry. He knows things can get hairy in uh, group situations. Like, for example, if there was a fire or something like that, 
I wonder if that's ever happened in Vancouver. Oh wait, yes it did. In 94 and in 2011, things got hairy. And it could happen again. And when you're in a mob of people like that, that's just the responsible parent thing to do, to go, well, maybe it's better that they, you know, have some vague notion that the uh, NHL is good, but they don't uh, get a lot of first-hand experience um, having to, anything to do with it. Anyway, I'm getting messages on my phone uh, from basically trolls. Uh, what did one of us say as I was making this video? Three minutes ago, maybe next time when you make a video you can use my name. Well, that's creepy. I, uh, well, I'm not going to use his name, but, uh, here I am looking at my phone making this video, and I did make some vague notion that I was talking to him as my friend, or my dear friend, and here he is on my YouTube notification bar. Creepy. Uh, not entirely impossible, but I'm not going to say what I think about that because um, that um, would be construed as paranoia, delusional. And that's how they get you. That's how um, they push you into a direction they want you to go in. And um, that's manipulative. So anyway, getting back to the, the whole Sidney Crosby and him winning another Stanley Cup that he doesn't deserve. Somebody's gonna stop him, and uh, I would like to see the Edmonton Oilers do it. Uh, not so big a fan on um, the New Jersey. Well, it's not much different from this one, but I prefer the numbers on the uh, blue part. That's just that's just me. Uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.